Ellen is a special kind of powerhouse. She has really an infinite amount of energy. If you're willing to work with others and don't need your name in front of everything, you can get a lot done in this city and in the world. And we collaborate. We work with everyone. And we have one goal, and that's to help patients conquer this disease. So I've uh, had days with her where I've uh, met with her or talked with her during the day about some technical issues on a, uh, an area of, uh, of cancer policy or, or cancer innovation, and then seen her uh, leading the way at a, at a social, a big DC social event uh, that same evening, and then hear from her the next morning. I've gotten calls from her from, um, from Asia, from Europe, from uh, really all over the world, uh, late at night, early in the morning there, where she just doesn't run out of energy and, and working on the issues that she cares so deeply about. Everyone has a stake in research and in outcomes. So being passionate isn't enough. People have to go to their passion. They have to let their members of Congress, they have to let their families, they have to let others know that they care and make a difference. So you cannot be passive. If you're passive, we won't get the funding, we won't get the treatments, we will not get what we need to advance the science. We all work together towards funding for breast cancer, for screening, and frankly, all cancers. What's extraordinarily important is that groups like Comin work with real patients. They work with grassroots and they work with policymakers towards making a difference. We all have to collaborate, but we have to remember that it's ultimately the patient that is impacted and the patient's voice is the most important voice in this fight.